guys. Um, I want to jump in and film something really quick. The light's starting to disappear and the hardest thing for me about filming these videos, I'm sorry my camera's shaking, is finding the right kind of light in the right place in my house at any given time. I'm in my kitchen. I'm next to my son's little kitchen. I'm actually sitting at his toddler table and chair. So, and you're balancing on a tower of eggs. <laughs> so we'll see how this works. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my new favorite company, The Thread Gatherer. Um, full disclosure, they did send me a package of products um, for the purpose of reviewing and chatting with you guys about um, and trying out. Um, this is not paid promotion. They did send me things, but um, my opinions are definitely my own. Um, so let me just jump in really quickly and show you what they sent. So we have, we were chatting online through email and um, came up with some ideas. So I was really wanting to start the new Tempting Tangles Long Way Home stitch along and I thought that their threads would be wonderful for it. Um, Tempting Tangles designs really lead themselves well to a beautiful variegated uh, floss, especially a silk. So um, that was my first my first thought. So I sent them the list of colors, um, the DMC uh, numbers for what is called for for the chart, and they surprised me with floss options for all of the colors. I'm blown away. I just... Anyway, I can't thank them enough, and so I really hope that you like what I show you and you go to their shop and make a purchase or send them a message and tell them that you saw my video and you really liked what you saw, um, you know, whatever. So they sent me in the package, this was the first thing, let me show you, this is the, the thing I really want to show you, the flosses. Um, while I open this, I will say you should check out their Facebook page. Um, they have a really fun, active Facebook page. They're always posting their color inspirations, um, asking for customer feedback on names, and it's just, it is a really fun page to follow. Okay, guys. So here, here is what they sent. There we go. The colors are so gorgeous that I really wanted to wait to film this video until I could show them off as best as possible. Oh, some nice lights coming in the window. There we go. So I'm going to show you each one very briefly. This color is called Black and Grass. It's a dark green black. We have Bronze Age Green, and these are from their Silk and Colors line. Here we have Sherlock Woods. These are all pretty true to color. They're a little lighter than they're showing up. Here we have Tuscan Olive. Ginger Snap. I love this one. There we go. Some of their colors are highly variegated, some are more subtle. This one is Rusty Amber. There we go. Um, so you can go to their shop on Etsy. I'll leave a link down below. This is Creme de Menthe. Ooh. And they sell fibers for other crafts as well. They have um, wool and um, I think pearl cotton. I'd have to double check. And I think they do lace. This is called Slug Bug. Like a purpley brown. There we go. Um, the pictures on their Etsy shop are gorgeous and it looks like they're 
packaging is incredible, especially when you buy, they have um, these boxes that are like color themed and the green one really appeals to me. It's got some green mossy looking stuff and green's my favorite color, so no matter what that's gonna that's gonna appeal to me. So we have chocolate caramel. Oops. The best, the truest color seems to be up at the top here in all these pictures. Just the way the light is. Let's try this. There we go. We have blue sage. Okay, we're close to dry, done. This is straw flower. It um, seems to be close to an acru. Espresso cream, also pretty acru looking. It's a little yes, less yellow than it's looking, so more like up here. Straw into gold. We have slate blue. I'm speeding up here because my battery light's flashing a little. Barrier reef. This one is really gorgeous. Blues into green to uh, limey green. Moss and meadow. So the tempting tangles design I want to use these for has a lot of um, a lot of trees in it. It's very tree heavy. So all these different greens are gonna look really stunning. Sorry, this one is bare brown. And last one is Britta's Bay. Britta's Bay. There we go. And first impressions, I haven't used these yet. I will, um, when I do an update, I will talk about my next whip update. I'll talk about how, how I enjoyed using them. Um, so I can't attest to that yet. But I do want to say, um, the part of me that really likes things that are neat, not my house, but my crafting supplies. I like, like my bobbins, I like my bobbins wound really tight and I don't like when they're too poofy or the threads are all over the place. So that part of me really loves how tightly wound these are. Some hand dye flosses you get, all oh, the flosses are great. They're wound pretty loosely. I love this. There we go. Um, I want to try to show you two other, there a few more things before my battery dies. Um, they surprised me with some extra goodies in the in my package. So they have a sister company called, I'm not sure if it's Matt Hair or Mather, it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's Mather, Mather Earth. And um, it's mindfully made, naturally inspired. They... Anyway, they make um, they make bath and beauty products. Um, they sent me this bar of soap. It's a goat's milk soap. It's lavender, tassy lavender. There we go. And the list of ingredients are all natural. Uh, lots of different uh, wonderful oils, activated charcoal, goat's milk, coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil. It's just so many great things. And I. Not everybody likes strong scents, and this is strongly scented, although it's not um, not in a negative way. Um, and I could smell it before I open my mailbox in like the best possible way. So I can't wait to use that. I I, I got this package um, about a week ago, and I've been dying to use this soap, but I really wanted to tell tell you about it first. So now I'm excited I can use it. Um, the other things they sent me, and these are just as delicious. Okay, this is... <clears throat> came in this little baggie. And it's hand lotion for hands that hold a needle. So it's uh, meant for people who do needlework. And it smells gorgeous. I don't... let me see what is... there's no ingredients on here, so I don't know what the scent is. But those are really beautiful. Not really focusing there, are we? There we go. A really sweet little piece of artwork that says she spends hours in the sewing room 
love that. And this is my favorite thing of all that I didn't, I've never used this before. Okay, this is lip sugar scrub. You know, I've got this really bad chronic habit of picking at my lips or chewing at any dry skin that are on, that's on my lips. This is amazing. Lip sugar scrub. So I rubbed it on my lips and they felt so smooth. I had no dry skin. It tastes delicious. The scent um, is orange vanilla. And... It's just like a gritty sugar, and I just took a little bit on my finger, rubbed it on my lips. It's like an exfoliator. It's just delicious. So it did come with a little card here that says Lag Lanyap. So here, this card's a little description. It says Lanyap is a noun, and it means a small gift presented by a store owner to express gratitude for a purchase. With many choices, we thank you for choosing Mother Earth. So I don't know if they tend to slip some of these goodies in when you make a purchase from their shop or not. Um, but I will definitely be buying more of these products from them. And I'm not usually a big Bath & Beauty product person, but I'm hooked. This lip sugar scrub has kind of changed my, changed my habits. Um, I'm not picking anymore, which, you know, my mother always got after me for when I was a kid, and even my husband. It's great. So that's my package from the Thread Gatherer. Um, okay, I just jumped up for a second because I did want to tell you a little bit about them. They sent me um, a lot of information and I just, I know I'm gushing, but I just think they're a wonderful company and I'm definitely a customer for life. So, so it was started by Cecilia Strickland um, in 1991. So that's 26 years now they've been in business. Um, and fact, fun fact, the first designer to use a thread gather was Joan Thomason um, from Stitch and Stuff. And she still uses CC's fibers today. Um, their line first started um, with a fiber line called fa uh, Flax and f sorry, ugh, Flax and Colors. <laughs> um, and some of those are still available, but they're Favorite by far is silken colors and cross stitchers. That's what you want to use. Uh, it's your typical um, uh, six stranded, uh, six stranded floss. Just making sure it's six stranded um, or co uh, silk floss. Oh, I'm trying to race my battery here. Um, but silken colors. That's what you want to look for from, from their Etsy shop. Um, so each color is hand dyed in small batches, so no two dye lots are the same. And on each of the tags under the name, there is the dye lot there, so it's easy to compare them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they say they suggest you buy two or more of the one you need. Um, to make sure your dye lots match up, because especially if there is a significant period of time between the, um, the colors can actually look quite a bit different, um, so you might want to make sure to keep that in mind. Um, it's a family-run business, which I always love to support, and um, so the people who work there full-time are Cece, her husband, and two daughters, um, and they say one of the biggest questions has been people asking to see the dye studio, thinking it's a glamorous, even magical space. It's not. <laughs> um, they say it looks like children have splattered paint all over the walls because of years of dyeing stained areas and spills, and that just sounds really fun. I'd love to dye uh, fabrics. Floss is not so much, but fabrics that really interests me, and uh, more recently I've been interested in natural dye techniques, so I um, can't say I'd like to have my house splattered with paint or dye, but it sounds like a fun place to work. So that's it. Um, I can't wait to get started on my project. I'll definitely show you some updates. I'm going to include a few pictures of what they sent and links again in the description to their Facebook page, excuse me, and their Etsy shop. Um, please go take a look and browse. Um, I'm really excited about this store. I They're new to me. I only found out about them somewhat recently and I'm just blown away. Their customer service, from what I've experienced, just, just kills. Like... I was able to send them the colors I wanted, they specially dyed some, they pulled from others, and they set me up. 
Um, the only thing I wish I had were the DMC numbers maybe on here and a sticker and what they related to, but um, I've ordered the DMC color guide, um, so I can, I can figure that out. Yeah, so I don't know what more I can say. Check out their shop, let them know that you saw my video, go to their Facebook group and join in in some of the color naming fun and see their inspiration and you can offer up ideas. It's, it's, it's a pretty fun community to be a part of. Thanks so much. Bye.